Yeah. Axis Allies player is a good captain here, and welcome to part two of Germany's Austria Hungary and Germany's round 11. So, uh, he, uh, my opponent, wants me to take the armor and the rest on infantry. So, for the Tub swing, this is already uh, basically a plus nine, so that'll help if we have a bad roll. Or the French, I should say, have a good roll. But before I roll it back, uh, I noticed that uh, I had to edit in that fighter from Kiel, and I guess AAA didn't register that for the air battle, so very, very, very frustratingly, I attacked with one less fighter. And, uh, you know. One can only wonder if I would have had one more fighter going into the ground battle. One can only wonder if I'd had one more kill. Because every, every kill matters. But anyway, uh, so before we roll, uh, we're going to use a calculator and just try to get an idea of what... Okay, 189, uh, so, uh, really? 31.5? Oh, that's what our hits were, yeah, okay, wow. So, we're expecting him to get 32 hits, basically. Oh, that's right, and we ignore 4, that's where the positive tough swing comes in, so. The tank armor on attack can absorb the hits. So, let's see, we don't want to see, like, 33 to 38, that would be really sad. Something like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that hurt. So, um... That's like plus 5 or 6. That's about as bad as it could... Yeah, I mean, that's... I don't know why this always happens to the CP, but... <sighs> yeah. So, now I only have t 10 infantry. Um, now I have to make some tough decisions. About whether to keep armor or drop some fighters even. It's, man, it's a bummer. So let me pause this and do some math. Yeah, so the French rolled plus 5.5. Right, because it's 62 at 3, that's the most, the middle of the bell curve is 31, and then there's sort of this almost 50 50 on these three ones. Ah. Uh. Okay, well. I've, I've done the math on his attack back, and thank God his supply train is basically cut because uh, and there's no British. Well, there is British, but no, no major British assets. And our supply train looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take it all in the infantry after we shrug off four of those hits. So we have to eat 33 hits. We did 30 hits uh, on him. He did <laughs> 33 on us, but, you know, it basically comes out to a dead even uh, exchange in material because he pulled off his armor and I only pulled off infantry so zero tub swing again it was something like what a plus three or plus four piece favoring me but uh, we rolled uh, well we rolled well enough I guess but the French rolled hot so uh, not a whole lot of uh, gain there in terms of uh, piece and material, pieces and material. But um, hopefully Switzerland goes well and then we can say we've gained some board initiative. So we will call this here. And I did the math on the attack back and yeah he'll cut through. I thank god he only has six artillery and no air. Uh, he'll be able to cut through the, the infantry and probably dip into the artillery a little bit if he decides to attack. 
if he decides to attack. Of course, if he does that, um, he loses 15, 16, 17, 18, probably 19. So then he'd be down to 10 infantry. I bring in my reserves. We hit him back, absorb off, uh, soak off four more units, and you know he could hit us with the burgundy. <laughs> anyway, it's all a tit for tat. Okay, this one is just as big probably as Alsace. So Alsace did not go well. Could have gone worse, but not much worse. And Alsace, yeah, we hit it. Okay. Okay, so that's good because that means now this Alsace army cannot move south. Uh, that, that's that's a huge board advantage if he can, you know, moving from contested zone to contested zone. This Alsace army can only stay put. It can stay put and fight. It can go to Belgium or it can go to Lorraine. It can't do anything else. So uh, now we just drop in the pieces. Right, and this is why we bought all infantry, because we knew we would hemorrhage guys this turn. So we want to protect what's left of our core units, or what, is, what our core units. Um, so there you have it. Uh, definitely not the victory we were looking for. Uh, I'm still going to be in a tough, still a lot of uh, fighting to do, but it wasn't a complete disaster. So just to verify that, you can go to turn summary, pull out the battle in all sauce, and it'll give you the, uh, yeah, see, battle score for the attacker is zero. It was a dead, dead even. Went into that battle at uh, plus, almost plus four piece advantage, and it was so bad that it came out zero. But the, at least it wasn't negative. And if he attacks back, you know, he could roll just as badly as well. So, you know, we're still in the fight. We're still in the fight. I would call that just barely doable, but just barely continuable. If it had been a few more pieces over, we'd be in much worse shape. So, uh, thanks for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.